Today we're gonna do a closet clean out, so that'll be fun. Those are a little bit overstuffed and a little bit messy, so today we're gonna go through and make sure that I keep only what I want and that everything's folded nice and put in the proper place. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video. start with the dresser and go with the bras, underwear, socks, uh, and other miscellaneous intimates. So as you can see, I've got a ton of socks. first time in a while that I've actually taken everything out of my top drawer so there are a lot of mismatched socks there are a lot of uh, unpaired socks and so it's nice to go through every once in a while and call out all of the all of the socks that have no partners or all of the socks with holes in them so but I love a good fuzzy sock so that explains the vast amount of my socks but there are quite a few just regular ankle socks that need pairing I got these little cube organizers from Ikea and because the dresser is Ikea it also just fits really nicely out your closet let me know I like to clean mine out every six months or so and that's why I'm not really going through and getting rid of too many things it's mostly just a reset of the organizational system never actually pair my socks. It was a nightmare. My sock drawer basically was just all of the same brand socks so that at least they all fit the same. But there would be many days where my socks just did not match and I don't know why I let myself do that because that just gives me so much anxiety now. Moving on to the second drawer of the dresser, it's full of all of my pants. So like any other millennial, I think we all have an abundance of black leggings and a small collection of jeans. So I'm going through and just making sure that anything that has holes in it gets put aside. Anything I haven't worn in a long time gets put aside. And anything with tags that I purchased over a year ago is going to get out of here. had to come to the realization that I'm not going to go to a tailor and so if I buy things that need tailoring I'm just not going to wear them.
For my pants, I like to fold them in half and then in half again and then in half again so that they stand upright uh, nice and neat so you can actually see all of the pants. Here are the aforementioned black legging collection. So here I am just continuing to fold leggings because that's all I wear these days. I've done a lot of searching of jeans and the only ones that I really like are Levi's and it's a shame that they're so expensive but they last a long time they fit really well and because I'm short and I have short legs it's nice that they have options that are shorter ma'am what are you doing in there ma'am Moving on to sweaters. It is starting to finally get cold here in the Bay Area, so I'm just going through all of my sweaters to make sure I still really like all the ones that I have, and of course I do, because I am a freak for having cute patterns. decided to roll my sweaters this time since they were overflowing in the drawer being folded in half and then refolded. Now we're going to move on to my small assortment of skirts. I don't have too many and I used to have way more, um, but now I find that skirts are a little bit um, difficult for me since they usually just don't fit right. But the ones that I do keep are ones that I really love and ones that I will wear more often when we're not just in quarantine. Ginger Snap, seeing an opportunity for a spot to sit down on. to the biggest section of my closet is tops. So I have a variety of just short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, button up shirts, and a whole slew of cardigans and cover ups. So I am a huge fan of cardigans because I'm 
cold a lot of the time and I prefer to have like a short sleeve shirt or a tank top and a sweater versus just a long sleeve shirt. Right now I'm going through and sorting um, just the shirts from the cover-ups and the shirts that I wear as over shirts. Now I'm going to sort my overshirts by weight. So all of the sweater types are going to go farther over there and all of the just shirt types are going to go closer to where I'm sorting. I like to sort my clothes based on their function, not necessarily what they look like. So now I'm going through and sorting between my short sleeve shirts and my long sleeve shirts. through the long sleeve shirts we're gonna go through and sort based by casual and formal I find that it's easier for me to decide what I want to wear out of the sections versus just all my long sleeve shirts and all of my short sleeve shirts <laughs> For the tops, we're going to sort by dressy and casual. Do tank tops. I have these like spaghetti strap tank top holders and I think they're great if they do get used um, and mine weren't getting used super efficiently so I've just decided to move some that were just on plane hangers onto this tank top hook and overall I think it's gonna work out great. gonna move on to dresses now so this is one of those categories that like I love wearing a baggy dress when it's super hot and I just accumulate a ton of dresses um, but I'm not gonna get rid of any that I really like so we're just gonna accept that I'm a little bit of a maximalist sort dresses by short dressy, long dressy, short casual, and long casual.
on to one of the final steps here is pajamas. So I keep this cart in the closet with pajamas and shorts and scarves. Because I go through my clothes every six months or so, I don't really have too much to purge out of it, but it's mostly just a reset of the organization. Now we're done. I'm showing you all of the tidy drawers and we even have a little bit of extra space in this pants drawer. I'm really pleased with how this reorganization turned out. And I know that my system is good if I can kind of go through every few months and just reset it and know that I know where everything is and that everything is tidy. Thanks for watching. Bye.